Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Recently, I started following Matt Diavella. He's a minimalist and documentary filmmaker, making lifestyle videos and a weekly podcast. At almost half a million subscribers on YouTube, he's been growing incredibly quickly, and rightfully so. His style is incredibly high quality, and it's really refreshing to see. So in today's video, I wanna break down the different components that make his videos so great. Before we get into the interesting stuff, I have to take a minute to talk about the gear that he uses. Wait. Hold up, don't exit out of the video quite yet. I swear I'm gonna make this part quick. Thank you. He uses a few different Sony Alpha cameras for vlogging and podcasting, but the majority of his YouTube videos are shot on a Canon C200. He shoots with a variety of different Sony G Master and Canon L lenses, including a 16 to 35 f2.8, a 50 mm f1.4, and a 24 mm f1.4. He likes to film using wide aperture prime lenses, giving his videos that nice shallow depth of field. And that's one of the many different factors that make his videos very aesthetically pleasing. As you may expect, since Matt Diavella has a filmmaking background, the visuals in his videos are very nice and polished. His videos feature very nice soft lighting and a lot of practicals like lamps in the background of his shots. Even though he uses these techniques to light his scene very well, he lets certain areas of the background fall off into shadow and somehow doesn't get a single speck of noise in his videos while doing this. I'm not quite sure how that part works. Because he films himself, most of his videos feature very little camera motion. There could be a rack focus occasionally, but the shots are almost all completely static. Now that we've gone over some of the filming techniques he uses, let's talk about how he edits that footage. But before that, I wanna take a quick moment to talk about Squarespace, which is the sponsor of today's video. Squarespace is an easy way to make a great website. It's an all-in-one platform with nothing to install, patch, or upgrade. It's incredibly easy to use, but if you still manage to mess something up, they have award-winning, 24 seven customer service to help out. If you're like me, the aesthetic of your website is very important to you. You don't want someone to pull up to your site and feel like they're using dial up internet. Luckily for you, Squarespace offers designer templates to make your site look amazing while still giving you the flexibility to make it your own. This way you can ensure that your site looks as great as whatever photos, videos, or other creative endeavor you're displaying on it. Because no matter what you're creating, I'm sure it's incredible and your site will be too if you make it with Squarespace. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Aiden to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That being said, let's jump into Matt Diavella's editing, starting out with structure. He usually starts out with a polished, fast-paced intro to get you hooked on the idea of the video, and then the rest of the video after that is divided up into a few main points, kind of like a video essay. He supports these different points using analytical data, personal examples from his own life, or even interviews with other people. He narrates most of the video himself, but as he's doing this, he switches between voiceover and talking shots recorded on location. The cuts between these transitions are always very simple, and you might not even notice the change happening at all, but it adds a constant variety throughout the video. Another factor that I think helps to tie Matt Diavella's edits together is his color grade. It's pretty high contrast, but he also increases the black point a good bit to soften out the shadows. His videos include this nice orange color from those homey tungsten balance lights that he uses. To avoid having a completely orange shot, he adds a considerable amount of teal into the shadows, to balance it out and add some color contrast. But he doesn't go completely teal and orange with his color grades. If there's a plant in the shot, it'll still be green. Thankfully. The way he uses these different colors makes the video feel modern, but still very home-like and comfortable. Kind of how a good minimalist studio or home should be. Finally, the sound design used in his videos is very detailed, but still simplistic. Which, actually that's right now. I like to keep my lunches pretty simple. In addition to sound design, he uses background music throughout the video. This is almost always just beats and instrumentals, 
and he likes to use classical music. The style that all of these different elements come together to create is a very interesting hybrid of personal lifestyle videos and documentary filmmaking. If you took a vlog, a tutorial, a documentary, and a Vox video, and mash them all together, you would get Matt Diavella's channel. As a YouTuber with a documentary background, it makes sense for him to have developed this style, but it's also very advantageous as it allows him to be consistent while also experimenting and being creative when needed. There's also just something so clean about his videos. Everything he uses, the lighting, the camera motion, the color grading, the sound design, all of it has a specific purpose, and its footprint is no larger than it needs to be. In this way, the style of his videos reflects the minimalist values at their core. Meticulous attention to detail regarding the purpose and significance of everything involved, and the potential for variety within consistency. That being said, I do hope you've enjoyed this video or learned something from it, and if you did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload two new filmmaking tutorials every single week. But that's all for now. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.